One of the questions I got a lot when I teach algebra with precalculus is that how come x cubed plus y cubed is factorable? And how do we do it? And of course, I can just show you guys the formula. This right here is equal to x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. And then utilize the formula. I can also tell you guys that start from here, multiply it out, work it out. You will end up with x cubed plus y cubed. Yes, that will work, but it's like missing something. Because it's kind of like, how did I know the answer in the first place, right? So in this video, I'm going to do it the hard way so I can go from scratch. Here we go. Firstly, I'm going to call this to be a polynomial. I'm just going to say that's p of x, just in terms of x. And I'm going to look at this as x cubed. But y is what though? It's just like a number, just keep that in mind. And because later on I'm going to do synthetic diffusion, we need to have all the powers, so I'm going to do this on purpose. I'm going to add 0 x squared because I didn't have that, plus 0 x to the first power again because I didn't have that. Lastly, plus I don't need the x anymore, and then we have the y cubed. So this is like the constant term. Now, note that if I plug in negative y, and this is what you can do, just like check it out, right? Just plug in negative y. So just write x equal to negative y is a zero to this polynomial because let me just write this down here. If I plug in negative y into the x, raise that to the third power, and then add y to the third power, this will produce still negative y to the third power, combine that with y to the third power, we get zero. So that's equal to zero. So this is the traditional steps of doing the rational zero theorem, right? From here, we can say add y to both sides. That means x plus y is a factor of our polynomial. So to get the other part, what we'll do is, now we have x plus y already. For the other part, we'll do synthetic division. Here we go. Look at this and write down the coefficients for x. We have 1x cubed, 0x squared, 0x. And this right here, well, there's no x, but that's a constant term. Write that down, y to the third power. Since negative y is a 0, I will put down negative y here. And then just work that out. Bring down the 1. And then take this times that. Negative y times 1 is negative y. And for synthetic division, you are going to add, which will get negative y. Continue. Negative y times negative y gives us positive y squared. Add them up like that. Finally, take this times that. We get negative y cubed. And the remainder is 0. From here, this is where we are going to get the answer. The power of x will go down by 1 because we divide it by x to the first power here. This is the coefficient of x squared. So that will be 1x squared. Let me just indicate that right here. And then notice this is a minus, minus x times that. And then lastly, there's no x. So the other part is just going to be x squared minus y times x. But let's write it as xy. Lastly, we add, that's positive, y squared, just like that. So as you can see, if you look at this as a polynomial, you can factor it and you get this. Of course, I'm not really solving an equation, so I'm not going to put it as equal to 0 and then solve it. But this is how you can factor the sum of two cubes. Now, how would you do it if you want to factor the sum of two squares? You can actually use complex numbers but I will do that in another video. That's it for here.